hello everyone uh, in this video we will see how to use the symbol layer on the azure map to tell you in details what i'm going to achieve before that let me tell you what we have done in till previous video so in the previous videos we have added the one button this dnlb uh, so map it will load this html web resource it is having the div i div icon div tag which is having the map id and inside that map div id we load the azure map and this azure in the azure map in the last videos we have added the some legends some uh, map controls like page zoom and all and we have uh, we have tried to display the customer asset this customer assets which is having the latitude and longitude defined so these locations we display on the map using the bubble layer and also in the last video we have developed when we hover on the icon it will display the pop-up so till there we have developed so in now in this video what we will do is we will uh, we'll try to show these locations using the symbol layer because in the previous videos previous video we have developed to show this uh, location using the bubble layer so in this video we will take the example with the symbol layer so to display the symbol layer so this is the site which explains like how the symbol layers will be used if you see some examples in the below the mostly symbol layers will have two main properties one is the icon options another is the text options so if you see the more details on the icon options from here so this is the tab for that in the icon options we have the allow overlap anchors like if you want to display some where you want to display these uh, locations of these icons then image so these are the default uh, supported different kind of icons image which we can use for the symbol layer then the offset if you want to position the icon different location a little bit up and down left side those offset we can define then opacity of the like when they these colors like gray sorry blue dark blue period if you want to do the some opacity on that one we can define from here then we should have other or we have we are having the rotation so we if you want to rotate the b uh, rotate this icon little bit down right side do then those things you can use for the rotation the size also between 0 to 1 we can define the uh, size of that uh, uh, marker icon how much big and small we want to display on the map so these are the properties on the icon options if we go for the text options on the text options we have the uh, properties like allow overlap same then we have anchor the text we want to display the color of the text that a font which supported by azure map for the text to be displayed then we have the offset here then uh, mostly we use the rotations size then text field text field is important because sometimes what we do is we try to uh, get the values from the uh, record which we display on the map like example this is the customer asset right so from uh, i want to display below the name of that customer asset so like that if you want to do then the text field uh, we can use so like that we use so we will be using few properties of these two uh, of the symbol here and we'll see the example with that and also in the demo i'm going to show you how to load your own image as a icon options here see because see in the image these are the default it will support it but sometimes you will have your own image to be displayed instead of uh, default supported icons or markers right so for that also we will see in this demo so to in the demo to display that one what i have done is i have created one field uh, with the name asset status it has three option value so i'll show you so one value one represent open value two for in progress three for closed so this uh, this three value of the uh, asset status i have set for some of the uh, some of the uh, a custom asset record with the open you can see it is having asset status open in progress then closed and one is i have left with the no value selected so like that i have already created this record so which is having latitude and longitude defined and i will be showing these 
uh, I, these uh, custom asset records on the locations on the map with the different colors of those ones like currently it all locations represent with the same color right so based on the what a status it has asset status we will choose the different type of icon or color of the icon and that we can define so let's do that so first of all uh, we need to uh, include this field into our fetch xml so if you see the i have copied this field and this is the javascript file uh, which loads the uh, map and then it uh, display the locations on the map so here we have taken the variables then we have the load map function it will be called when the html body when it is loaded this is the our html file when it is uh, body is loaded then it will call this function and inside the function we initialize the map then on the map we add the legend control so that we have already done in the previous video there is one separate function for that and then when the map is ready then we have added few controls like the pitch control zoom control different style of the map those things in the last video we have added the data source because we wanted to show the customer asset so this is what it is and this is the function for that add resource and inside the add resource here uh, we call we uh, we have the fetch xml which will retrieve the custom asset here with the condition where the latitude and longitude is not null so here we need to include our field that is asset status here so let's add that uh, attribute here name and uh, the attribute name is uh, dnlb underscore asset status and close Okay, so we have included it. So this value uh, we will put into the one variable. So here already I have done it. So you can see asset status entity and customer asset I have added. Now this asset status we have included into the feature also because this is the feature where it will be uh, displayed on the map and the locations will be added on the map. So it will add, you, you have to include this uh, uh, into the feature because based on the condition like whether a status is open uh, closed or in progress we have to choose the different icon so for that one uh, this uh, status value must be present in the feature so that is why i have included here now i was calling this show map uh, show asset on the map but inside this function we have used bubble layer so now we want to develop using the symbol layer so for that what we will do we will create our new function so where show assets on map using symbol layer okay it will be the function and takes the feature object input okay and we'll add the data source we'll add this feature to data source okay now we will create the we'll create the symbol layer so let's create it where symbol layer equals to new atlas dot layer dot symbol layer and on the which data source so it is on data source uh, null and then the properties of that one so the first property is is the icon options then next properties next property is a text options So we have seen this one right on the symbol layer we have the two main properties right defined so one is for the text of icon options another is the text options so the icon options we have the different properties like allow overlap so just use that one so allow overlap i will make it true then we have image so image will be our uh, array of the image because here we will be setting image based on the what status we have asset status so to do that we will use the match property match and on the match of what first we will get the asset status so it is this value once this map is uh, matching is done then we will check which value it has so if value is one then what what icon we want to represent like uh, with the all the custom asset which is having open as a asset status then how you want to show them on the map so i'm um, taking example uh, using the options like um, marker blue so i will 
display using the marker blue image then if the value is 2 then I will display marker dark blue and if I option is 3 which is close so how we want to display so if the status is close so for that I'm going to use the uh, my own custom image so for that um, what I have done is I have already created one image wave resource this is the image wave resource I have included into the wave resource here in the same solution and when you click on this it, this is the image I want to display for all the customer asset which is closed so for that we need to load this uh, image so I have I'm just copying the name or path of this uh, uh, wave resource so that I can load into the map so for that we have to go to the map here when the map is ready we'll include it so map dot and the property name is image sprite dot add and then we have to name the image for by which name we need to call into the map so just giving I'm going to give circle checked something like that and then the path where it will the map uh, image is so now basically what we did is in the map we have added the image sprite here and with the name circle checked and then this is the path of the image of the circle check image from the wave resource it will load here so it is very simple and we can access this image by using this name so to access it so we'll go to the our function here so asset map and here we'll display using that name also in the image we have to define the default value this is this is kind of must and we have to define always we have to define one default image if nothing is matching from this list so for that default image uh, what I'm going to display the example is in this case so here you can see when the asset status is not equals to open in progress and closed then for this one what I should display with so for that I'm going to choose um, pin red here so I'm going to set this uh, image pin red so like that we can define there are other properties apart from image on the icon options so example let's take offset here so offset I'm going to set 0 comma 0 then we have the size the size will be between 0 and 1 because zero is like very small and one is the maximum size of the default image what gives in the icon options that we can use so i'm going to set as maximum value then we have the rotation if you want to rotate the image by some right side or left side that we can set with the zero or negative plus minus value we can set it i'm going to do nothing on the rotation side so like that few properties you can define now uh, we'll move to the uh, text options in the text options the first uh, field i will be using is the field name because this uh, sorry text field this 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 one this property because this will i uh, want to display the name of the asset below these icons something like that so to do that i'm going to take the text field and it will be get on what on from which one we'll get this name we'll get from this one asset name so we'll copy this name add it then uh, we have to set what color of if we want to show them uh, we, have, we want to show them all these uh, uh, all these uh, 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 name so the color i'm going to set it as a black then the font so font size is the, in the array and this will be the font available here in the uh, in the text options we are having the font options here so i'm going to take the default value so a standard font regular okay okay so now it is done the font size of what you want to set so that size i'm going to say 12 and um, if you want to display a little bit offset then you can set that too i'm going to set zero zero no offset something like that there's other properties you can use there's anchor so by default if you not define anchor then anchor will be at the bottom you can see uh, by default the anchor will be set as center here for the text case it will be center but for the case of uh, icon the anchor will be always in the bottom you will see 
you can see the anchor will be by default if you are not defining any location where you want to display your text something like that so there are other properties if you want uh, to use so you can use as per your requirement so currently i'm going to define these many properties only for my symbol layer now once it is created this object i'm going to add it to the map so map dot layers dot add and then symbol layer so now we have finally developed our this function we need to call this function inside the uh, same add resource function because what we are going to do is for each of uh, each uh, customer asset record what we are having we are going to create the symbol for that right represent so that is why we have to call one by one so i'm going to set it and pass the feature here so now i will comment this previous function because i do not want to display on the map the symbol uh, sorry bubble uh, layer also because i'm just hiding it i don't want to display the location with the bubble i'm going to hide it so that is why i have commented this one i'm using the new function to show the location so now it is fully developed now so let's upload this uh, into the wave resource update that one so this is our wave resource load map uh, in javascript wave resource so we'll select this load map and save and we'll publish this file okay it has been published now i will refresh this map and uh, we'll see if it is working okay we have some error let's check it okay so here status as get asset status okay blue fine this is there is no error particular so saying cannot add the uh, define the read properties on atlas so from where we get this error okay let me check this again so uh, atlas dot layer dot symbol layer data source null icon options overlap to image match get as a status one two three different thing and then red pin fine and the offset size rotation fine then text options text field get asset name then color font regular fine size this offset also fine and the map map dot layers dot add symbol layer we have added so this looks fine let's check if we have missing if you are missing any other thing here in the driven it is loaded image dot okay this is wrong so my this is the spelling mistake this should be image image a sprite dot add so now it is correct so it was a spelling mistake in this map dot image sprite dot add and then this view resource so i'm going to save this and upload this again publish this again okay now let's refresh this now you can see the icons are displaying you can see for these two locations it is was comp it is called close that is why it is displaying that one and below the text is being displayed and if you zoom in more and then you will see there is a red pin because uh, for the default uh, icons we have set it uh, red pin right when there is no status so we are having only one uh, assets such that which is not having the any status or which is displaying as with these op options and the text is in the color black and the font with that so 
i hope uh, you can uh, i hope you can utilize this video and concept of using the symbol layer and how to represent your location with the different uh, colors and options so i hope this video was useful to you thank you for watching this video guys